today I'm just going to talk about um, networks and the importance of connections um, between things in our life rather than studying things individually. Um, so. <laughs> this is a long 15 seconds. <laughs> Okay, so traditionally, um, pretty much all of statistics and quite a lot of science studied individual objects. So we've five um, stick men here, three are purple, two are red. We study them all individually and we try and learn things about the people. But when we actually look at who are friends with each other, we discover that the three guys are purple because they're friends with each other and the two guys are red because they're friends with each other. So by knowing who's connected to each other, we actually learn um, more about why, what we're observing. Now, here's my Facebook network. I obviously don't have too many friends on Facebook. There's 53 people there. And when you look at them, um, when you visualize the network, you start to notice that there's kind of obvious groups. And the four groups that appear are my college friends, family, work, and people I know from my postgrad. And one person who's holding the two groups at the bottom together is my wife, who I call it, colored as a college friend rather than family, but she should be both. Somebody has done this on a grand scale where they actually looked at every single Facebook user in the USA and clustered them into various groups. And you get some very interesting geographical and other groups appearing. I didn't choose the names. Um, another network that appears a lot is um, when people play the Kevin Bacon game and try to work out... Um, can you connect any actor to Kevin Bacon in less than six films? And you can do it in about three on average with most actors. Mathematicians play a similar game where they talk about the Erdos game, where you try to connect yourself back to Paul Erdos, the mathematician, using co-authorship of papers. Now, last night I did this for myself and discovered that I have an Erdos number of three. <laughs> Erdos wrote a paper with... Yagesh um, Babu. Yagesh Babu wrote a paper with Adrian Raftery, and then this year I had a paper with Adrian Raftery. So my R dash number is three. Um, so it's a game that mathematicians play. A very important um, network in our life is the internet, and in the internet we have web pages and hyperlinks between um, web pages. And this is um, an important aspect of things like search engines. And it actually leads to some strange results sometimes. If you type in French military victories into Google and click, I'm feeling lucky, you get a result that comes up that looks like a Google page, but actually isn't. It's, did you not mean to search for French military defeats? <laughs> now, you can imagine who was involved in setting this up and when it was set up. Um, and actually, it was a response to another famous Google bomb where if you type in the word miserable failure into Google, you get George Bush's <laughs> official web page followed by Michael Moore's official web page. So there was a bit of tit for tat going on there. So networks are important in a wide variety of areas. Now, I have lots of other examples coming up. It was shown in the New England Journal of Medicine that obesity is actually, um, can be explained partially by who you're friends with. And in this network, the yellow dots are people who are obese, and you can see they cluster together quite a lot, and the links are people's friendship. Here's a, um, a partnership network, and it was used in a HIV study to see who has HIV and is your partnership network important in determining whether you have HIV or not, or whether you're going to get it or not. Um, in biology, people are starting to look at a very um, microscopic level where they're studying which proteins inside your cells interact with each other. And rather than studying proteins on their own, by studying the interactions, they discover a lot more about how our body works. Um, I did some work looking at um, co-worker relationships within a legal firm, and we found that the lawyers fell into two obvious groups, the litigation lawyers and the corporate lawyers. And various aspects then influenced whether people were more or likely to be friends. Um, network analysts like myself actually fall into groups ourselves. Somebody did a network analysis of network analysts and we discovered that we're actually a very fractured um, community. We have the physicists and the rest um, in this. <laughs> um, a cautionary thing um, about networks, you think you're not revealing much on Facebook and one thing Facebook don't ask about is race, but some Facebook researchers actually were able to reproduce how many people of each race were on Facebook just by using surnames and um, basically, the last thing was, and in a more extreme case, in one US college, somebody was able to reproduce where each student lived on the campus by just using their Facebook information and who they were friends with. So when you are putting information on Facebook, be cautious about it. So.